guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Sofia Santos, and today's video was supposed to be another productive vlog, but I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I am feeling hella tired. <laughs> I actually just got from a little break for Ondas and from doing everything, from attending my classes every day, crunching numbers on an Excel file every night, and only closing my eyes when I realized that it's already 3 a.m., my productivity and motivation went from here to here. And I think it's gonna stay there for quite a while. I've been feeling super sluggish and unmotivated and just lazy for the past few days and I've concluded that I am stuck in a rut. During this pandemic, it's so much easier to fall into the feeling of wanting to do nothing, the feeling of unmotivatedness and nothingness. And if it's that much easier, it's also that much harder to escape it. I realize that I like giving advices, and when I give advices in videos like this one, I sometimes verbalize the stuff that I need to hear for myself. So that's what we're gonna attempt to do today. We're gonna try to logic ourselves out of a rut and maybe find some relief. I research a lot about what you can do when you're feeling unmotivated, and I want to share them with you guys as I try to make myself feel better by attempting to look better. So get ready with me. Number one, let's talk about introspection. Introspection means the examination or observation of one's mental and emotional processes. So in easier words, it's kind of like self-reflection. When you're feeling unmotivated, it's important that you know why, or at least you try to know why. So why do I feel unmotivated? <laughs> I feel unmotivated because I feel like I'm not getting what I deserve, which is rest. I always say it in my videos, we all deserve rest, but somehow with everything that's happening, I feel like I can't get it and I shouldn't get it. With a little bit of reflection, I think it's because I'm pressuring myself. I feel like if I stop being interested in what I'm studying, I'll fail my classes. And if I stop doing work for an hour, everyone will get mad at me. And hearing myself say that, I think I'm overreacting a little bit. <laughs> even if I rest for a day or even a few days, I doubt I'll fail my classes. And even if I take my breaks for work, I don't think people will get mad at me. You know what? I feel better already. Verbalizing or even writing down your thoughts kind of allows you to reflect on it in a more general level. Wanting to take a break has stressed me the past few days, but honestly, now that I say it out loud, I don't think I should stress about it so much because the world won't end and you can still save the world even if you take a break. The second thing I want to talk about is the pain and pleasure principle. According to Sigmund Freud, we make our choices depending on what we perceive as painful and pleasurable. Obviously, we're gonna try to avoid pain and we're gonna try to create pleasure. I think we've managed to think like this for so long because usually what's painful is dangerous for our lives and what's pleasurable is what's good for our life. And in that case, that principle actually protects us in a way. But the moment that you perceive something that you have to do as painful, that's where things kind of get difficult. Let's talk about studying. In my many years as a student, it's not hard for me to associate painful feelings with being tired and being forced to do what I don't want to do to something like studying. For me, studying is a necessity and the moment I start to associate painful feelings to something that I have to do, it gets really challenging. If pain makes you avoid doing things, why don't we just associate pleasurable things? I talk a lot about study triggers in my past videos and mine personally is watching study vlogs. And that only works because I find the act of watching study vlogs as something pleasurable and by doing it again and again, I've always watched study vlogs before I study. I've kind of trained my brain to associate that pleasurable thing to something that was painful for me. Now to get myself in the mood for studying, I just watch a study vlog and whenever I don't even have to study anymore and I just want to watch a study vlog, I still feel the need to study and somehow I get things done. And taking advantage of the pain and pleasure principle doesn't only work for studying. 
for example, when you want to work out. I actually watched a video on how she was able to associate feeling relief from her problems to running. And that's because every time she felt sad or every time she cried, she would distract herself by going on a treadmill. She would run and run until she felt better to the point that she was able to associate the feeling of relief or forgetting and feeling better about her problems to the act of running. And ever since then, running and working out wasn't such a hard job for her anymore because instead of focusing on the fact that running and working out only made her feel tired, she was able to train her brain to think about the fact that every time she ran, she would feel relief. Number three, accept the fact that motivation is fleeting. It's not forever and it will never be. That's exactly why we have discipline and it's so important that you get used to discipline. When you know that motivation isn't constant, you know when to take advantage of it and when it's gone and you fall into a rut or the feeling of unmotivatedness, it won't affect your work so much and it won't feel as painful. I myself rely a lot on feeling motivated and productive. If I'm not productive, I really just don't work at all. And in the real world, it just doesn't work like that. Even if you don't feel like moving, even if you don't feel like getting up from your bed, there are days that you still have to work. And I'm thankful that I grew up with discipline. I know how to put myself up most of the time, even if I don't feel like it. And now that I'm feeling unmotivated and it's so hard to get things done, I know that I have to work on my discipline so that when I fall into a rut again, it won't be this hard. One thing that makes me want to be disciplined is the feeling that I get after it. Because when I get things done, when I don't feel like getting things done, I can say that even if I felt like crap, my work wasn't crap. Number four is always have three things to look forward to. A lot of people use their goals as motivation and probably the main reason why you're feeling unmotivated is because you don't give yourself motivation, which come in the form of goals. Always having three main goals in your brain constantly, no matter how small they are. Having them allows you to understand and know better what you have to do and also gives you an idea on the reward you're gonna get if you do them. The main reason you're not feeling motivated is because you don't have motivation. So give yourself motivation. <laughs> Number five is the hardest part and it is to start doing something. My main rule for this is to force it for five minutes. I know it's kind of weird, but most of the time it only takes five minutes for our brain to function in a way that makes you do something. <laughs> Forcing yourself for 5 minutes allows you to experience something before giving up. For example, studying. You don't want to study because you know you'll feel tired afterwards and you just don't feel like it. But who knows that maybe if you allow yourself to experience it for 5 minutes, you'll suddenly feel that it isn't that bad and if it's worth doing, you're already starting so why stop, right? Choose to start the making better decision and be consistent with it. Deciding to work and start studying for a quiz you have next week is so much better than deciding to sleep in and not do anything the whole day. Start doing something because usually what you have to do will benefit you in the future. At this point, I hope you're feeling a tiny bit motivated. I'm feeling better because I actually decided to stand up and film this video for you guys. But if you still don't feel better, just stick to your discipline. I'm sure your checklist has a purpose and if it does, it's always worth doing. Don't let it pile up because if you do, you're gonna regret it for sure. You know it in yourself. And it's only gonna dig your hole a little bit deeper every day. So so even if it's hard, start doing something because if you do, you can boast in yourself or to other people that you did something that was very difficult and you can be proud of yourself. <laughs> Starting from the day, I'm gonna be productive again. Even if I don't have that much motivation, I am a disciplined human being and I'm gonna do what I have to do. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye! Oh, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. One, two, three, fuck it.